Being a world leader is no easy feat. You have to constantly travel around the world for diplomatic purposes, master the art of small talk, and remember to smile every time someone takes a photo. Yes, it's truly awful. So it makes sense that after all your hard work that you reward yourself with a palatial palace or regal residence for some much-needed downtime. Join us as we take an unauthorized tour into the incredible homes of the richest world leaders. From a penthouse covered in gold to a secret underground ice hockey rink to a residence bigger than the Vatican. We have also included some world leaders not currently leading since their mansions are simply too incredible to not mention. Welcome back to our channel. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so that you get notified every time we upload a new video. Barack Obama, net worth $242.5 million. Ever since leaving the White House, Barack Obama has gone from strength to strength financially. He has released a memoir, which sold 3.3 million copies, and with his wife, signed a Netflix deal in 2018. While Obama's net worth is estimated to be around $70 million, in combination with his wife, it's something closer to $242.5 million. So what kind of home does Obama live in? The Obamas own an $11.75 million mansion, located in Martha's Vineyard, Massachusetts. The 29-acre estate comes with seven bedrooms, two guest wings, an outdoor pool, private beach, and there's even a bathhouse. The couple purchased the Seaview home back in December 2019 for $3 million and after many renovations, turned it into the magical mansion they use today. Queen Elizabeth II, $500 million. The Queen owns every single swan in the UK, and yet a lot of the less cool stuff she owns belongs to what's called the Royal Firm, an enterprise that operates the business side of royal life, which is estimated to hold $28 billion. This includes Crown Estate, $19.5 billion, Kensington Palace, $630 billion, the Duchy of Lancaster, $748 million, and many more to mention. So, she does make money from the royal institution and its many properties, etc. However, she also has personal assets of supposedly $500 million, which reflect her net worth, which includes a stamp collection valued at 100 million pounds. The Queen has a ton of homes, but it's Buckingham Palace where she mostly resides, with Windsor Castle her typical weekend getaway, and largest occupied castle in the world. The Crown-owned palace is situated in the city of Westminster, and it's massive. It has a total of 775 rooms, which include 19 state rooms, 52 royal rooms, 188 staff bedrooms, 92 offices, and 78 bathrooms. People can visit some of the state rooms during certain times of the year. Donald Trump, $3.1 billion. Trump is probably one of the few US presidents to consistently make headlines every week during their tenure, though he's been relatively quiet since leaving the White House, likely due to essentially being blocked from the internet. With an estimated net worth of $3.1 billion, though he says $10 billion, you can expect the entrepreneur spends a lot of time in the Trump Tower than his actual office, which is in the same building. Donald has many high-profile residences, but there is one in particular he tends to spend most of his time in. His New York City penthouse is situated at 725 Fifth Avenue and 66 stories at the top of the Trump Tower. The penthouse's decor was inspired by the Palace of Versailles, which is why there is so much gold everywhere. Trump's youngest son even has his own floor in the building. The Trump Tower has an estimated value of $200 million, but that's according to Donald. Realistically, it's a mere $54 million instead. Hassan al-Bolkir, Sultan of Brunei $20 billion. Hassan Al is not only one of the world's richest billionaire world leaders, but he also has the biggest private residence in the world too. In fact, it's so big that it's larger than the Vatican, and even in the Guinness Book of World Records for being the largest living residence of a state head. The Instana Nurul Iman Palace comes with 1,800 rooms, including 257 bathrooms, a banquet hall that can squeeze in 5,000 guests, a parking space for 110 cars, five swimming pools, a helipad, and even a huge air-conditioned stable for 200 ponies. There is even a mosque on the property, big enough for 1,500 people. The Sultan also has one of the biggest car collections in the world, with over 7,000 cars which are worth $5 billion. How is the Sultan so rich, you ask? Oil.
and lots of it. Kim Jong-un, net worth $47 billion. Okay, so not so much a world leader than a complete authoritarian dictator with no regards for his citizens, Kim owns literally everything in North Korea. Kim enjoys a life of luxury, even once spending over $921,000 on Brazilian coffee in 2016, though Brazilian coffee is pretty good. Then again, he eats Japanese Kobe beef regularly and has Iranian caviar flown in, so he must, unfortunately, have an insane amount of wealth. As you can already imagine, his Ryongsong residence, known as the Central Luxury Mansion by locals, is no less luxurious. Situated in northern Pyongyang, it's believed to be around 12 kilometers squared, 4.6 square miles. It's where you will most likely find Kim hanging out when he's not torturing people, though it's said he has at least eight other residences outside of the capital. It was constructed and completed sometime in 1983, with an underground wartime headquarters reinforced with concrete and covered with lead in case of the event of a nuclear war. Other amenities include minefields, an electric fence that surrounds the entire residence, and loads of security checkpoints. There is also a private train station underground, a 15-meter swimming pool with a huge water slide, track and field, shooting range, and horse racing track with 20% of the entire state budget used to ensure his racing horses are always in perfect peak performance. President Vladimir Putin – $70 billion Putin's wealth has been shrouded in mystery ever since he became leader of Russia, with some estimates stating he is worth $200 billion, when more official estimates come closer to $70 billion. Frankly, we just don't know. What we do know, however, is that he owns a Grand Italianat Palace worth $1 billion, featuring a casino, private theater, formal gardens, helipad, and an underground tunnel like something from a James Bond movie. Just like his bro Trump, Putin's mansion drew heavy inspiration from the Palace of Versailles, with huge wrought iron gates leading through the courtyard and a lovely imperial eagle made of gold perched on top. Due to the location of Putin's palace, a colloquial name, there is 24-hour guard and specialized land, sea, and air defense systems in place for additional protection. Which one of these world leaders has the most luxurious mansion? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out our other video on the richest family in the world. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.